flag of the previous event. Indecisive comes up. Red light has been switched on. They're set. The favourites draw the inside stall. They're off. Palladio missed it by a length. Bootleg Rascal jump will. Aristic is coming over, and I hope you, Dan Simonelli and Smug Knox, just drive up towards the lead soon after the break. Blue Horse Park behind those. The stable mate going around them deeper, indecisive. Over Express up there, and Bootleg Rascal settling about midfield on the inside of that duo. They're being followed by Mexi Cola, caught out in the middle of the track in the early part on the outside of Precious Cargo, which has to steady. Uncle Con has gone up to join those over on the fence around them now. Wide out is Luke Star. Further back, Brave called Bralita 5 in the back half at the 800. Being followed by Celtic Diva. Last of all, Palladio. It's Aristic that leads them, though. Inside the 700, Aristic about three quarters to Smug Noxious. Indecisive, tramping around them three deep. Over on the inside, running fourth. I hope you dance before the home corner. Going up next of all with a red cap on the outside is Simonelli. And then wider out is Luke Star. And right behind behind them over express now the faves coiled up behind them bootleg rascal coming into the home corner but it's aristic that leads for home at the 350 aristic challenged by the gray smug noxious the other gray joins in blue horse and then i hope you dance followed by indecisive no run uncle con badly hemmed away on the fence blue horse reached the lead here comes bralita five bralita five bursting its way through quickly after the leader blue horse bralita five they'll come to it they split it together bralita five blue horse I'm not really sure. Close up third, brave call, jumped out of the ground as well. I hope you dance. Uncle Con was luckless. Precious cargo behind those with Mexi Cola, Simonelli, Smug Noxious, followed further back by Celtic Diva, Palladio, and then bootleg rascal, Aver Express, Aristic, had dropped right out after leading for home. Luke Starr's back there and indecisive, a long last. Well, normally the outside horse, that's the way you would go. Bralita 5 has come with a run as the field fan to set after Blue Horse. Blue Horse, Sean McGruddy, Bralita 5, Alan Kennedy. The outside horse looks as though in a tightish finish will get the verdict. 13, Blue Horse, the war chant mare for Ash Maley, ridden by Sean McGruddy. Blue Horse with a bit of specking at the 26. Bralita 5 was back searching for runs and just had to shoulder into the open. Actually got onto the back and followed Blue Horse, who then ran right out towards the middle of the track and beyond. So a couple of winners have come from there today. And Bralita 5 then got back closer towards the middle of the course to come at it. But 13 has got it. Blue Horse, Sean McGruddy over Bralita 5, number 9. And 7, Brave Call, 3rd. Fourth placing to 12, I hope you dance. And it's a short half head by a half a length, and the time's 127.74. Well, a big finish there, and uh, the winner of the race, Blue Horse by War Chant out of Ash, who races this mare, and uh, also prepares the four-year-old at her 11th start and gets the money this afternoon with Sean McGruddy aboard. Let's go directly down into the yard and catch up with Mark Warwood, continuing a pretty good run as well for the Jin Jin based trainer, Ash Maley. Thanks, Darren. Yes, I have the trainer here, Ash Maley. This horse, 10 starts, unplaced in all of them. Blinkers went on today. Wasn't like a good thing, mate. Yeah, no, it um, was a nice patient ride from uh, Shooter, and uh, she, is a, she is a bit of a pig, this horse. Um, but she has got a bit of ability, and it was good to see that he rode her so nicely, and um, and she found at the end, which was really good. I mean, she has shown us a bit of promise early, but then she, yeah, she's got too many, too many little things that she does wrong. So it was really pleasing to see. What was the theory on putting the blinkers on today, 10, 11 start? Well, she hasn't been concentrating at all, um, so we've been trying to stop her from worrying about every other horse that's out there, and which is what she does. And she's, she has got a bit of nastiness about her and she lays her ears back on every horse that she can see. So I was hoping that that would switch her on and stop her concentrating on every other horse and just concentrate on what she's meant to be doing. You've got two runners later in the day. Either of those a good chance? No, I would have said they were fair. 
fair. That's pretty good for you, I reckon. You keep it pretty much under your own uh, bushel. Well done, Ash. Thanks very much. Ash Miley there, and uh, now Pete's going to catch up with Sean McGrady. With Shooter here. Shooter, you rode the horse there first up, last start. Probably got a bit further back and running, but the gate helped out today. Yeah, blinkers went on today, and um, yeah, I couldn't have been any closer last start. Just wasn't travelling. And you'll see today it was sort of travelling in parts. Uh, at stages she was travelling and then she wasn't, so... Uh, She's quite a difficult horse to ride, actually, but probably still learning her trade. Blinkers sharpen her up today? Yeah, that's what I said, um, as opposed to last start, yeah. And in terms of her overall behaviour, do you think she's going to improve as you go through the prep, stepping up in distance, perhaps? Yeah, look, she could get a bit further. I probably hit the front a bit too early today, but um, when I was going that good, I thought it was too good to be true, so I thought I'll keep her going, and she just tip tippy-toed late. But, um, yeah, ridden uh, quiet, like, like I say, she doesn't really jump out and travel all that good, so... Um, yeah, if you just wait a bit longer, I'm sure she'll get a bit further. And you've got a ride on the stable mate Western Star later in the card. Your thoughts on that, Galloper? Yeah, look, probably coming towards the end of its prep and um, the barrier's no help. Thanks very much, Sean. Go well. Thanks, mate. Sean McGrady there, the winner of race number three here. Race number four is the Perth Racing Club membership handicap over 1,650 metres. It'll start the quaddy shortly.